Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, driving tour I just did. And in doing it, I remembered that I've actually never made a video about my car. What I mean by that is like showing you my car. Uh, I made the video a few uh, weeks back. That was a big bus. Um, made a video a few weeks back uh, called Accidents Waiting to Happen. And that originally was supposed to be kind of a general tour of my car. And it ended up being just me running into trees and stuff like that. So I decided since I've got the camera out and it is such a wonderful day today and it's so beautiful that I might as well just show you my car today as well. All right, right now we're obviously inside the car. Um, I have a 2000 Jeep Cherokee. It was actually made in March of 1999, uh, but it's a 2000 Jeep Cherokee. Uh, let's see if I can get this thing on. The window's a little dirty, so you're gonna see a lot of uh, flare, but it's got 100, 1,430 some odd miles on it. I bought the car with 76,000 miles on it. Uh, I bought it in 2003. Uh, it's a great car. I've never had any problems with it. And um, yeah, so anyways, unfortunately the only really bad thing about it is that it's a, I can't remember if it's a four or a five speed automatic. I know Jeep has made both. I used to know, I think, I want to say it's a five-speed automatic, but I'm not exactly sure. But that's the only problem I have with it is it's an automatic. Uh, when I bought it, I didn't know how to drive stick, but I've since learned, and uh, that's the only thing about this car I don't like. The next car I'm buying is definitely going to be a manual. Uh, it has actual four-wheel drive, uh, not all-wheel drive. So right now it's in two-wheel rear-wheel drive, and that's the way I have it most of the time. And then you just flip sh uh, on the fly shifting the car can be moving or it can be still and it will go automatically into four wheel uh, four wheel high now this is not all wheel drive this is just part-time drive so this is uh, locked differential so I can't go faster than 50 with it and it really should only be done on really snow and icy roads which is pretty honestly only need four wheel drive and then you can shift this thing into you shift this into neutral and then this into neutral and then down and then that's like rock crawling four-wheel drive, the low four-wheel drive. Um, Jeep, um, for this body style, the Cherokee, and for the Wrangler, makes two of these. This is the command track, and then there's a select track four-wheel drive system. The only difference between the command and the select is that the select, um, uh, select uh, four-wheel drive transmission will have a four-wheel all-time, which is all-wheel drive. Um, this car was made in 2000, like I said, and it's pretty loaded. It's got power windows, uh, power locks, um, power windows, uh, power mirrors, I mean. Um, it has a tape player and a CD player. Uh, this CD player used to work, but it doesn't anymore. It broke a couple years ago. Um, I think uh, one of the uh, sensors inside of it doesn't work anymore, and it only plays like two tracks on any CDs you put in it, and then it gives an error mes message and it shuts down. Uh, not that it matters, I just use this for my iPod. Um, it uh, has all the temperature gauges, um, you know, it's got air conditioning, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, two outlets, uh, rear defrost, rear windshield wiper blade. The motor in my rear windshield wiper blade has blown out so it doesn't work anymore. Um, transmission, it's got the e-brake. It's a pretty basic interior. Um, you know, there's my tripod from the video. Uh, you know, it's not the limited edition or anything like that, but it's a nice car. And here's my favorite part. Cup holders. Now you're thinking, well, cup holders? Why is he so impressed with those? Well, uh, my original car that I had first, I had a 1988 uh, Jeep Wagoneer, and uh, it didn't have cup holders. It had, like, everything else. It was a limited edition car. I got it, at, I, it was my first car, so by the time I drove it, it was, like, 14 years old, and it had, like, 221,000 miles on it. It was a great car, but it didn't have cup holders. So when I bought this car, the most aesthetic thing I, w I was on about was not the CD player, not that all the speakers worked, not that it had power windows or power locks, but that it had cup holders and I didn't have to hold my drink in between my legs when I was driving. So that was the coolest thing. Well, I've uh, shown you the inside, so let's go take a look at the outside. Alright, like I said, it's a uh, 2000 uh, Jeep Cherokee, the old boxy uh, body style. Um, this is my favorite car. It was actually my dream car. 
uh, when I was growing up. I just, I love this body style. It's so simple, it's so uh, nice. It was, you know, back before they were worried about aerodynamics, so it has some character. It doesn't look like these, uh, like that BMW that just passed all bubbly. Um, it's a, just, it's a great car, and unfortunately, Jeep stopped making these in 2001, so you can't buy these anymore. So maybe if I'm able to keep it somewhat looking good, um, it'll uh, be a collector's item someday. I'm hoping to have this car for a long time. Um, doesn't have any problems except for two things. Um, number one, I just noticed this. I've got a hole in my windshield, and I gotta get that fixed before it uh, gets too bad, uh, before it cracks the rest of the windshield. And then, I don't know if we'll be able to see this or not, but I'll get underneath here, and you, maybe we'll be able to see it. But, and I'll zoom in here. But uh, you see that little bit of liquid there on the ground? That's for my differential, my rear differential. It's leaking, so I'm gonna have to get that fixed. But other than, you know, a little bit of rust, which you'd expect in Minnesota. Car's not too bad, the frame's still good. The exhaust has a little bit of leak in it, but uh, it's not too bad. I mean, overall, this is a pretty good car. Um, I wish Jeep made uh, more of these because I don't honestly like any of the other Jeeps that are made now except for the Wrangler. I think they're all way too ugly looking and uh, they're not that good. Well, I guess before this tape runs out, because it's about to, I should uh, show you the engine. So, engine release is right down here. You just flip the uh, secondary match. There, put it up. She has a four liter straight six uh, engine. That's a pretty decent engine, uh, works pretty well. Um, not under power for the size of the vehicle. I know that they put these same engines in the Grand Cherokee, so they used to, the bigger versions, and they were so underpowered. Um, it's not the best Jeep engine I've ever had. Uh, the uh, truck I had before this had a slant six in it, and man, that engine was tough. Uh, but that was on the old Jeep. Uh, this one's not too bad. Uh, just a little leaking, you know, a little oil leak. Other than that, uh, the engine has worked fine. The car's about uh, 10 years old now. Uh, it works pretty good. Well, before I sign off here, I'm sure all of you car people are uh, wanting to see, hear it fire up and this car has never let me down. It has never not. The only time it's ever started is when I've accidentally left the lights on. <laughs> That's it. So, see all the gauges work. You got the uh, oil gauge, the temperature gauge, speedometer, the tack, which uh, is useless on this car because it's an automatic. But, um, you know, this car did come and does come with manual or did battery uh, and fuel gauge. So, pretty simplistic design, but I like that. I like it when cars are simple. I don't like them too complicated. But uh, unfortunately, in Minnesota, we have all these, well, it's not unfortunate, we have environmental laws, so get all the environmental stuff on here and all that kind of stuff. So the engine is a lot more crowded, but she still, she still sounds pretty good. You know? But, uh, She's a good car. Especially for mudding. Four by four. Eventually I'll make her not stock. She's stock right now, but I just don't have the money for her. But I do kind of want to turn this car once I get a new one, once this car gets too old to be on the road into a future off-roading car. But, uh, well, hope you enjoyed the tour.